everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex, Alexandra, or Al, whatever you prefer. Um, today's video is definitely going <laughs> totally different way than I was expecting it to go. Um, if you can tell by the title, of course, I am talking about the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics or Jaclyn Cosmetics lipsticks today. And I've actually gone out and got some dupes for all of the items that I purchased um, on the day of her launch. I know everyone says this, but I was honestly going back and forth so much deciding whether or not I wanted to actually do this video. But um, I purchased five of the lipsticks and I was like, immediately I'm gonna be doing a video, I'm gonna swatch them, I'm gonna review them, I'm gonna do a wear test. Um, I had like a full idea for this purchase um, and it's going a totally different way and just because it's not going to be a positive one it doesn't mean that I shouldn't film this video. I don't want to not film it just because it's going to have a little bit more of a negative light on it. So that's why I'm still filming it. I'm also filming it because I wanted to give you guys some dupes. I love all of the colors that I bought and I was really upset to know that as soon as they came in I wasn't going to be able to wear them. So I thought I would do a dupe video for you guys instead. I'm also going to share with you guys my experience that I had with the um, website, how it all worked, and of course the stuff that is going around online. So I'm currently not wearing any lipstick right now, I feel so naked, <laughs> um, but I'm going to be doing swatches at the end of this video so you guys will see um, what the lipsticks are that I'm going to be actually putting on my lips and that I'm going to be duping with the Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. So I just first wanted to start off my video today by just giving you guys kind of like a little low down <laughs> in my opinion and I know it's not really necessary at this point there's a ton of opinions out there but I also wanted to give you guys facts of what I received on um, my package as well so I feel like the more people that come out and say that they've had problems with their lipsticks the better because hopefully she'll change her mind and decide to actually do a recall which I don't see happening after watching her video last night but um, there's, here's to hoping, you know, I just hope that something good comes out of this. So I just want to start by saying that I have been a Jaclyn Hill fan just like everybody else who bought these lipsticks for a very, very long time. So I really wasn't expecting it to go this way. I know that there's always been a lot of drama around Jaclyn Hill, I get that, but I've never experienced that drama with her before. I've never experienced anything bad with her before. I bought the Becca highlight, I bought the um, Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and I've loved them both so I never really had any issues with like the vaults and um, any other kind of drama that went around. I just wasn't, I didn't experience it firsthand so I just never really got it to be honest. With that being said I don't ever diminish what other people have gone through or felt with all of their products. I totally get it. Everyone is gonna have different experiences so you know everyone is justified when it comes to what their experiences are and what their opinions are. Um, I truly believe that there is enough room in the world for everyone, every single one of us, to be successful. So I don't ever want to, I don't ever want people to watch this video and think that I don't wish success for Jaclyn Hill or anybody out there, especially when they're launching their first item of their brand. I of course didn't want it to go this way, I don't think anybody wanted it to go this way. If I wanted it to go this way, I wouldn't have bought these lipsticks. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm just feeling really like disappointed. I feel like a disappointed parent almost. Like I don't know how to, how to put my feelings into words because I'm so angry. And I think it is so different when you've actually physically got the products in front of you and you're looking at them than when you're looking at them online and looking at other people's photos. I was looking at those photos and I was disgusted. I was like, oh my god, I don't even want to see my lipsticks when they come in. I'm terrified to see them. I wish I could cancel the shipment. Like, I was freaking out and I just wish that I could have returned them as they were like midway on their way to me. Um, but it's like 10 times worse when you see it in person. It's totally different. It's a different experience. So I now can understand what people were saying when they had the vault collection and anything that kind of didn't go their way or, or they weren't you know, what didn't live up to their high expectations and high standards that they would have for someone like Jaclyn Hill. With all of that being said, I have watched Christie's video, I've watched Nakia Joy's video, I've watched um, another big one. I've watched a couple of videos about the lipsticks, people's experiences, all that jazz, and that was before I actually received my own lipsticks. 
Um, and that is actually, <laughs> I have been a huge fan of Christy, Rob, Rob Beauty Christie's for so long. Like, I am obsessed with her videos, her personality. I just think she's really, really cool. She's been my favorite for a really long time now. Um, and that's actually why I went out and actually purchased a microscope so that I could check out my lipsticks as well. So I don't want anybody to think that I'm like copying her. I was just so intrigued with the microscope in general, um, that I want to keep trying it out. But... I do have some really close up photos that I'm going to be sharing with you guys that I did take with the microscope so you can see what my lip lipsticks look like, which I will include shots throughout this, um, throughout this video so you guys can see what my lipsticks look like as well. I will say that mine weren't as bad as some people's lipsticks that they received as some of the photos that I have seen, but they are definitely not up to par, not up to standard of what I want a new luxurious lipstick to look like when I receive it, especially one that has been worked on for five years and is so hyped up and that the creator themselves were in the lab working on day in and day out. It's not something that I would be proud of if it was my brand and it's not something that I would want anyone to purchase off of my hands. So I'm shocked with the way that this is going. I'm upset, I'm angry, I am just frustrated that I have them. I am annoyed that I have them. I don't want to go through the hassle of having to contact customer service, of having to return them, having to pay to ship to return them. It costs 20 US dollars to ship them to Canada, so it's like 25, 27 bucks Canadian just to have them shipped to me. And now I'm gonna have to pay to ship them back to her, so that in itself is all really frustrating. I basically just wanna make sure that I cover all of my points. I don't want anyone to think that I am sitting here bashing Jacqueline as a person. I don't know her as a person. I am just really uh, disgusted with the way that Jacqueline Hill and her team are handling this situation. I think it should be handled completely different. I think it especially infuriates me because for somebody to be in this industry for so long and to do so many collaborations where you would probably be working in labs or you've probably seen labs to an extent that you would know how makeup should be made. And if you haven't, you definitely have your resources, you have your friends, you have colleagues who have seen all of these things and who know how it works and how brands and lipsticks and products are made and how it should be in a standard lab that you should have educated yourself. And that's what really bothers me. On top of that, I watched her video last night, um, her 14 minute video of her um, basically just saying that her ingredients are FDA approved, which great, I'm sure that every, no one was questioning whether or not these ingredients were FDA approved. It was the contamination in the ingredients and in the lipsticks. She included some documents on her video, which to be honest, I couldn't care less about documents saying what's in the ingredients, when they were made. I could not care less because at the end of the day, documents don't tell me anything. I just wish that she said, I'm really sorry, I, this isn't how I wanted my brand launch to go. This is not what should be happening with my lipsticks. This isn't the formula that I have been wearing. Um, I wanna recall all of them. I'm gonna refund you all and let's start from scratch. I really, I don't understand what the point is of showing the documents because you know people are going to look at them, examine them, and nitpick and find errors in them or find things that they are are believing is a lie and maybe it is a lie. But at the end of the day, when you show these documents, you're not going to have everyone believe you and believe that this is the truth. You're always going to have speculation. So what is the point? That's all I was looking for was a recall and getting my money back. And I am going to be emailing them after this video to get my money back and have it all sorted out. I just have heard that you have to pay shipping and that really bothers me. So with all that being said, if you want to support Jacqueline and you love her makeup or her lipsticks, you had a good experience with them, you're going to support her brand, go for it. But I just wanted to get out there that I'm not going to be doing that and I will respect your opinions and your decisions, but I just want people to respect mine. And my opinion has definitely changed about her, it's changed about um, how I feel um, with her response. So um, that's kind of just where I'm at right now. I'm not gonna say that I am never ever going to support Jacqueline Hill and I'm never ever going to um, not see her side of things. It must be terrifying to launch a brand and I can't imagine what she's going through right now. I wouldn't wish this upon like my worst enemy. I can't imagine having millions of people coming at you when you're launching a brand and then this is happening, but I also can't understand how one individual can't take responsibility for something as big as this. 
Um, I also want to share this because I want her to know that it's not just probably 1% of people coming back and saying that they're having issues with their lipsticks. It's probably way more than 1%. So I guess I'll just go into the lip swatches. I'll show you guys the ones that I purchased and then um, I'll show you guys my friends as well. So a girl that I work with, we purchased them together. And I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of a lowdown about my experience with the website as well. Because I know not everyone's was positive, but mine was actually really good. I went on, I had the website open all morning. I refreshed it at noon. I got on the website. I ordered two nude mood trios, I think they are. I ordered... What are these nude moment sorry i ordered two nude moment trios and then i ordered two other lipsticks i ordered um isla and amaze balls and um i had no problem putting them in my baskets i went and checked out there was a little refresh page or like a spinning page and it basically just said um don't leave this page you're in line to check out i was maybe on there for 15 seconds and then it let me go and check out and i had zero issues with checking out so my experience on the website was actually really positive, so I had just like really high hopes for all of this. Um, I will also say that her packaging is really, really nice. Um, I can't even tell you guys how disappointed I was to receive the box at home and just be like, cool, I am gonna open this and just not even get excited about it because I have to return it. And I can't get over how cute this packaging is. It's um, actually like pleated and then it says Jacqueline and then it has all of the colors um, shown at the top of what you purchased on all of your lipsticks. I know a lot of people think that her actual lipstick packaging is gaudy, which I can see. I totally get it. I actually didn't mind the packaging. I actually kind of liked it. Um, so I'm just going to open them up and show you guys. I know everyone has seen the packaging. So this is actually my colleague's. She also got the nude moment trio and then I got mine. I haven't actually opened, I've opened mine and looked at them but I haven't actually swatched these ones um, but she has played around with all of hers so I'm just going to take them out and show you guys what hers look like. Um, <laughs> obviously the lipstick didn't come like this but this is that girl and everyone seemed to have issues with that girl so basically what happened with um, hers was we were sitting down swatching it, it got really gritty, there were lots of hairs in hers um, and when she was swatching it, she had it rolled down all the way, like there was nothing showing, maybe this, of her lipstick. And she was swatching it and she felt the whole thing just tilt and hit the side of her tube. And when she turned it all the way up, it was actually completely bent and broken and was melting just like a lot of people had said. And I'm not going to lie, when I saw some people's photos online and they were saying that they were broken or bent and that they melted, I was like... It looks like this person just literally smushed their lipstick on purpose um, but when it actually happened I was like oh my god it actually did just totally break on you cool so um, that was her experience with that girl and I think a lot of people have been having issues with that girl if I'm remembering right so I'm, a, I'm wondering if this was like one of the first products that was made um, on the packaging the JH is actually coming off. It's like wearing off. When we were working, I had a little silver fleck on my hand. And I was like, what is this? I don't even wear anything silver. Like, what's on my hand? And so I like pulled it off. And then I noticed that um, part of her JH was missing. And it's actually like coming off. And it's white underneath. So I'm wondering if that's what it was. I can't say for sure if it was. But I'm just I'm assuming that that's what it was. I will say it does feel luxurious. It feels nice and heavy. Um, but I like I can't get over this at all. Um, so the next one that she bought was Sophia, and I don't think Sophia actually got Bali on her. Or did it? It's a little bit Bali, yeah. And then it actually started to tilt again. So I don't know if you guys can even tell, like the this is tilting in the tube. I'm gonna just show you guys up close here. Um, she said in her video that um, you should let them kind of cool before you open them right away because of the heat of the summer. I've been wearing makeup for about 10 years now and I've never had to not order things in the summer because of the heat. But to me, in my opinion, this is just something that shouldn't be happening. So um, this one here is 
perfectionist and it actually doesn't look bad at all it looks pretty good in the tube I do remember there were hairs on this one as well I think there's hairs in all of them to be quite honest um, she didn't swatch it a ton but as of right now there's no balls on these ones I'm actually not going to touch hers but I just wanted to show you guys um, what hers did look like and that we did go in and swatch them so with mine um, I did have to swatch Isla and Amaze balls because I had to find um, dupes for them so I did end up swatching them just on my hand really really lightly so that I can make sure that I got um, a good dupe for it but other than that um, I hadn't touched them I did go in and take off any hairs that were on them which I will show you guys again those photos um, if I haven't already I'll show you those photos of the ones that had the hairs in them um, I did also notice that all of the lipsticks are slanted in the actual tube like they're all slanted and I don't know if it's like they were put in there slanted or what but I just think that that is weird in itself and then the bottoms of the lipsticks are all pretty funky and messed up so this one is actually tilted as well I can tell that it's got a mark in it on the side which wasn't there when I first bought it so that is also from just swatching the lipstick itself I don't know if you guys will be able to see it here but there's like a dent in it now from just swatching it which is super weird there's definitely little balls in them as well I can see them on the side of the lipstick and then on the on the top as well I don't even want to swatch these because, because I'm scared that something's going to happen to my hand. I got like a little mark um, on my hand, like an itchy spot, and I don't know if it is from um, the lipstick. I did swatch a lipstick right over there last night when I was giving, getting my dupes. But I don't want to start something and say that that's what it's from, but I'm just like, it's really weird that I have like a mark on my hand and it's super itchy, but... <sighs> not great, not great. And actually there's like a... There's a hair in there now. Cool, cool, cool. All of the hairs that have been in my lipsticks have been um, very small, like short hairs. Yeah, they're all like really, really tiny hairs. But same with this one, it's slanted like, I feel like I've never inspected lipsticks this much, but um, once you start to look at them, it's, it's pretty nasty, so. I think what I'm going to do is just bite the bullet and actually go ahead and swatch them for you guys because I personally want to see if they're going to be Bali or if they aren't going to be Bali. And I'm really curious to see what that girl is going to look like from my um, trio. So I just opened up my trio. I'm going to swatch that girl because I'm really curious to see if there is something really funky going on with that one. Um, just because a lot of people have been having issues with it. Um, this one does have the balls at the top. Or not the balls, sorry, like the air pockets, like the air holes. Um, it does have those. The lipstick is definitely in there slanted, which I haven't touched yet, so it shouldn't even be slanted, but I want to show you guys in the tube itself. Can you guys see, like, straight down the tube? You can see it's, like, shifting to one side. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and start... Ugh, it's such a nice color. I'm not even pressing hard as well. I want you guys to know, like, you don't have to press hard to get the pigment with these um, lip colors. There we go. There's the balls. I want to show you guys, like, really close there. So this is what the lipstick looks like now after swatching it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see those balls there. I'm going to also try and get some really close-up clips on my um, on my microscope as well so that you guys can see what the lipsticks look like up, up close, but, you know, not ideal. What's crazy to me is that I would have never um, inspected these when I got them. I don't think I would have, like, noticed that right away. Um, I think I would have what would have caught my eye would be the balls in the lipsticks. I don't think it would have actually been the little fluffs on the tubes, or maybe it would have, I don't know, because I've never like taken a lipstick out and really inspected it, but maybe I would have taken it out and noticed that. I'm not too sure if I would have. So this one I can see that there's like a little tiny hair fluff on it on the top. It is slanted in the tube, so it's like crushing on this side right here, but other than that, like it's not, it doesn't look too, too awful. This one actually doesn't look bad. 
I don't know if I kept swatching it. I mean, I just swatched it a ton on my hand, but there's no balls in it. Um, I did see a fluff on it. And actually, there's one in here as well. I've got a lot of like tiny fluffs in mine. Is anybody else? Or is that just me? Yeah, so this one is Sophia, and this one doesn't actually look bad to me, other than those fluffs of hair, which I mean, obviously, are not ideal. Um, and then I'm gonna do Perfectionist here as well. So, Perfectionist actually has marks on it um, on the top, and then there's also like a speck of silver on Perfectionist, I think it was, yeah. And I don't know if it's from the packaging or what, but obviously not normal. And then it's also leaning to the side, so it's crushing on this side here. Please don't come at me and get mad at me for swatching them. I know I shouldn't be swatching them on my hand, but I'm just... I know that they're also going to ask for pictures, so I'm mainly just really curious. Yeah, this one too. This one doesn't look bad either. This, I don't see any balls coming up yet. And I just did a lot of swatching on that one as well. Um, so... Perfectionist and Sophia aren't that bad. It's mainly that girl. And then I want to show you guys um, Isla. So this one is Isla. I'm actually just going to do it on my other hand because my other hand's completely dry. What's really great about these lipsticks is that you don't have to use a lot of pressure to get that pigment. So, I mean, that's nice. Yeah, the balls are coming out in this one too. And there's a ton of air pockets in this one, in Isla. What I'm thinking is that she made the lighter nudes first. I mean, I don't know. I haven't really seen any of the darker ones um, with hairs and with the holes in them. So what I'm thinking is that she came up with the lighter ones first. And um, that's why they are the way they are. Like, maybe they were sitting in the lab longer than the other ones. Maybe they are expired. Yeah, even like... Maze balls has a little bit of the beads in it yeah a lot of a lot of the beads in it actually as well so it's also starting to slant and get all marked up from the tube I just like I have never had an experience where my lipsticks have bent on me like I've never applied lipsticks aggressively and even if I did apply it like harder because it's a matte lipstick I've never had that issue of it breaking on me. Like, I've, even when she said in her video, make sure your lipstick isn't rolled up on all the way before you apply it, like, do you think your subscribers are stupid? That's, like, so, so, such a dumb thing to say, in my opinion. Oh my god. All right, you guys, I do not want to put these on my hands again. Um, I don't want to swatch them anymore. I don't want to touch them anymore. So I am not going to be touching them. I will just say that uh, Sophia and Perfectionist were much better than the other three shades however i still of course would not recommend these to anybody i of course don't recommend anybody purchasing them so that's that let's get into the lip swatches i'm going to show you guys the colors that i picked out that i believe are the closest that i could find um for dupes for these six shades five shades um and i wanted to also do really similar formulas as well so i'm going to show you guys the formulas that are similar to them as close as i can get and then obviously without the grittiness in them and then um the colors that i picked that i thought were the closest to them as well so i will just start by saying that it was actually really difficult for me to find dupes i went to the drugstore and then i also looked in my collection at home to see what products were the closest to these shades and i will give her that it was really tricky for me to find dupes for these, so these are actually pretty good, unique shades uh, for nudes, but I ended up finding some really, really good ones and some really close to shades, so um, I'm going to just start off with that girl, which I think was also one of the more popular shades that people were interested in that purchased. So um, what was interesting about that girl is that it actually ended up darkening over time as it sat on my hand. So it started off really nice and light and then it actually went a little bit more of a deeper pinker shade. So I have two dupes for them that are quite different because if you like the shade that you initially see when you put on your lips, then I've got a dupe for that. But if you like the shade that you see after wearing the lipstick for a while, after it's had oxygen touch it and it's gotten darker, then I've also got a shade for that. So the first one that was a little bit lighter was MAC Creme Sheen Peach Blossom. This I feel like is such 
a beautiful shade of lipstick but what's really great about it is that it's really similar to the formula that I believe Jaclyn Hill was trying to accomplish it's really buttery really creamy if you've used the creme sheen mac lipsticks you already know how comfortable they are so I will just swatch it on my hands so that you guys can see the shade itself and then I will also swatch it on my lips so that you guys can see it there as well so this is definitely a lipstick that you can wear more sheen and not add too much pigment but you can also build it up to get a darker pigment as well so um, I'll just go ahead and put it on you guys can see how buttery it is I don't even have a mirror over here what am I doing so this is creme sheen peach blossom this is really similar to what the shade looked like um, prior to it darkening on my hand. I love this color. I love it for every day. I think it's so pretty for the summertime. And um, yeah, I just think that it's a really, really good dupe for that girl. And then when the color started to deepen up on my lips, um, it actually started to look like kind of sexy by MAC. I didn't plan to have two MAC dupes for this one. This formula is a matte formula, so it's definitely not going to be as buttery looking, um, but it is still a really comfortable formula, but it will have a little bit more of a matte finish. It won't look as glossy um, or satin as that formula, but I will just put these ones side by side so that you can see them. Um, so this is kind of sexy on this side. So you can see it's just a little bit deeper but it's still on that peachy tone side and they're so comfortable. I find the MAC Retro Matte line is kind of stiff, but um, their matte formula I find to be really, really comfortable. So I still would highly recommend this one. I'm also not the type of person who wears a lip liner all the time with lipstick, but um, I figured it'd be best not to put a lip liner on it because I don't want to alter the colors at all either. So this is MAC Kinda Sexy. So then for the shade Amaze Balls, I actually found one of my absolute favorite products that I've been loving recently. It's actually one of the products that I mentioned in my recent favorites video. And this is the Sephora Rouge Lip Lacquer, and this is in the shade Go Girl. This is one of the most comfortable formulas I've ever worn. It comes in a little lipstick tube like this, and it's probably, oh my god, I feel like this is also really, really similar to this formula. This is so creamy, so buttery on your lips. It looks like a gloss. Like I feel like it looks like the finish that Jaclyn Hill was going for as well. Um, I'm gonna swatch all of them on my hands so that you guys can just see all of the colors side by side to give you a good idea of the undertones um, and all the shades, what they look like type of thing and what would probably work better for you guys. So this is the shade Go Girl. I feel like it's picking up more like pink on camera but it's definitely got more of a nude undertone to it it's a very light color but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this on my lips as well it also tastes delicious try them all about so I feel like because my lips are a little bit more red right now, um, it's showing up to be a little bit darker than what it normally looks like, but um, this is the shade Go Girl by Sephora. I would say of all of the formulas that I'm going to be talking about today, this is the most comfortable. So if you're looking for something that's just really comfortable, this is phenomenal. It's like top notch. So for Isla, I would say that I found two like perfect dupes. Um, so the first one is the Kylie Jenner Creme Brulee Lipstick, and I talked about this in my last video. I had an issue with the last time that I ordered from Kylie Jenner. I think she's slowly going into Ulta though, so if you can get your hands on this at Ulta, I would totally recommend it. I will probably not be purchasing from Kylie Jenner's website um, anymore. I don't want to make an issue of it. I just want you guys to know why I'm saying this one when I just said in my last video um, that I probably wouldn't be purchasing from her website anymore, but she's got really, really good lip products, man. So there's this one, and then there's also the Stay Satin Rimmel London Lip, and this is in the shade Rosetto Liquid Liquido. <laughs> um, and this one is, they're both so similar to Isla. So I'm going to swatch both for you guys. I'll do Kylie first here. Kylie, I would say, is really close to the formula as well. So this one over here is Kylie. 
creme brulee and that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now. Forgot how much I loved the formula of that and the feeling of that lipstick. That's a good one. And then I'm gonna swatch the Rimmel. This is the Rimmel lip. So this one, I didn't wanna mention any like liquid lipsticks because I want the formulas to still be really similar to um, Jaclyn Hills. But this one is a um, satin finish. So it doesn't dry down matte, it dries down satin, it's got a satin finish, a little bit of more like glossy finish to it. So that's why I'm recommending this one to you guys. This one is the Rimmel one. Alrighty, what else we got in here? Last two. So for Perfectionist, I have the Revlon Ultra HD Gel Lip Color. And this one is in the shade 710 HD Desert. And this one comes in a little tube like this, it's a little twist tube. I really like this one. I like the formula feeling of it. I, this is one that I actually purchased from the drugstore for the dupe. Um, but I like the formula of this one. I like the feeling of this one. Very similar again. Oh my god, my foundation is like all off around my lips. So this one definitely has a little bit more of like a reddish undertone on my lips. I want people to know too that like I've got light medium skin tone. So all of these colors are going to look different on everybody, which is why she made that huge shade range. But I just want you guys to know that these are all going to look very different on different skin tones, of course. Um, but I'm just going to swatch this. But this is that Revlon shade. It's got like a kind of like dusty mauve um, brownie kind of tint to it. Um, you can see it kind of looks different on my lips than it does on my hand. Um, so it does look a little bit more like it's pulling a little bit more red on my lips and I think that's just because my lips are a bit more red now being swatched everywhere but okay and then the last shade is Sophia and I am duping this with CoverGirl's Tempting Toffee and this is a cream lipstick and that is it swatched on the back of my hand it's definitely more of a brown nude Again, this is a super creamy, buttery formula. It's really comfortable on the lips. Most feels like you're wearing nothing at all. You can't really feel anything even when you're like pushing your lips together. Um, so yeah, it's just a really comfortable lip formula. I really enjoy this one. I wanted to go more for creamy lipsticks in this dupe video because I feel like that's what she was trying to accomplish was really buttery formulas. So that's what I wanted to go for. Alright you guys, so that concludes this video. I hope that it was helpful. I hope you got to see some colors that maybe you would like to purchase instead of the Jaclyn Hill ones. I just want to finish off today's video by um, just saying that I don't want, um, I don't want people to be upset with this video, but I want people to understand that it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be upset, and it's okay to be frustrated and disappointed. Um, with this type of stuff. This is really, really frustrating when your hard earned money goes into something that is deplorable in my opinion. But it's how we project our anger that's gonna matter in this situation and especially for myself. So I hope that you guys don't get a negative vibe from this video. Um, I wanted to put a positive spin on it and show you guys my dupes and some products that I do really like in my collection and some new products that I'm going to add to my collection with this dupe video. So I do hope it, hope it was helpful. Um, I do just want to, of course, um, give my opinion of I don't think that you should go out and use your hard-earned money and purchase these lipsticks, but that is just me. Do what you want, do what you will. Um, I hope that this situation is made right. And yeah, I guess that's basically it. So I do appreciate you guys clicking on today's video. Of course, hit that subscribe button down below if you would like to stick around. I do makeup videos. I do some hair videos every once in a while um, and favorites videos. So if you guys would like to see stuff like that from me, then absolutely I would recommend to stick around. I will uh, be doing a video with the Natasha Denona Sunrise palette, which I'm super excited about. I know that's totally off topic, but I just got it in the mail tonight when I got home from work. So I'm really excited about that. So I'm going to be coming out with a good summer tutorial for you guys as well. And we will just go back to sticking with makeup and the fun and creativity part of it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you guys in my next video. Bye.